This is your digital marketing toolkit. Hi and welcome back to your Digital Marketing Toolkit, the show that brings the experts to you with practical tips and tools to grow your business online. I'm Ben Amos from Engage Video Marketing and we're here today in the vlog pod with Lisa Harrison from Social Media Mastery and Lisa's going to share with us all about building a personal brand. Thanks for coming in Lisa. Thanks Ben, it's great to be here. So before we get started today, we know that so many businesses understand the value in building their corporate brand online. But what's often overlooked is the value in building a personal brand online. But what exactly is a personal brand? Ben, a personal brand is what people think and feel about you when you leave a room. That's from a social perspective. But with online, that doesn't disappear. Online is your digital legacy and it's all those social media accounts that you've set up. You may or may not be using them, but it's all, though all those things will represent you as a person um, online. So it's important to understand what that says to your audience or your network. So when we're talking about building a personal brand for as a business person, yes. um, are you talking about like your, your personal social accounts, like where we post pictures of our family and that sort of stuff? Absolutely. Everything that online is part of your online personal brand. It's what I call your digital legacy. So digital legacy sounds very uh, permanent and because it is, it's important to understand that. Yeah. So I guess we need to be conscious of that as yeah. people in the public social media eye as business yes. owners, that our social accounts and our business selves mm -hmm. aren't necessarily separate. That's right. And as uh, there's new technologies, we're looking at uh, artificial intelligence, we're, we're seeing a lot of uh, VR, virtual reality stuff coming in and integrating with social. Um, the, the, the separation of public and private or professional and personal um, is getting very blurred. Okay, cool. So now we kind of have a bit of an understanding of what it is. Can you tell us why, why we should be building a personal brand online? Yeah, absolutely. So a personal brand is your opportunity to set yourself up as the expert in the field. Uh, it's to build credibility, it, trust with your customers. So that, and it's, it's a great way to keep connected. So uh, you might meet someone who could be a potential customer uh, and it might take a couple of years before they're ready to actually buy from you, but you'll have that connection there. Yeah, okay, cool. So it's really all about kind of fostering those potential relationships or it's like offline networking, but in the online Absolutely. sense. Yeah, is that, yeah, is that kind of sums it up? Yeah, yeah, excellent. It, the basics of networking are very uh, pertinent to, to your online network. And having, um, uh, having a way to stay connected with them, because we all know we're so busy in our um, offline worlds, that being able to know that you'll connect, stay connected with that potential customer or a client, if, as long as you want to be, um, it, it means that you can um, build more relationships, build more networks through that one connection. Yeah, okay. So I know that for many people watching, they're probably thinking that my business self and my, my personal self, my family life, I guess, yeah. I, I, I treat them differently. They're separate in my mind. Mm. So you know, why can't I keep them separate online? I mean, are there any negative kind of negative aspects that can come out here if you if you don't consider your personal brand as a business person? Yes, absolutely. But I think the positives outweigh the negatives. So what it means is you have an opportunity to set yourself up, set your brand up, your, your core messaging of why you're even um, online. And it get, means that the people who um, feel affiliated with that type of messaging will actually naturally become attracted to you through the, the networks online. Um, and it means that the people who don't feel like they're connected with you or that don't feel like they want to do business with you won't want to be connected with you and you don't have to basically waste time nurturing a, a a contact or, or potential client that will not go nowhere. So I just want to play devil's advocate here and, uh, you know, put my business hat on. And well, I understand there's going to be a lot of extra potential work that we need to put into our digital channels in order to build a powerful personal brand alongside of a corporate brand online. But from a business sense, what benefits um, am I going to see to my business? Absolutely. And that's an essential consideration for any business. You want a return on investment. 
The major benefits, I think, are being able to collaborate with people in your niche. I think we, as we move more, more into um, this disrupted world or business environment, we need to know who are the best people that we can work with and we need to know them, be connected with them quickly um, and easily. We also need to have um, credibility in the industry. Um, using that word of mouth, people are able to um, to recommend you to their, their clients or customers as well. There's also uh, the opportunity for leadership and, and thought leadership in your niche. Um, and again, it comes back to reputation, credibility, trust with your clients. Yeah, cool. So effectively building a powerful personal brand should lead to business growth if we do it right. Absolutely, Ben, and it does take an investment of time. Yeah, I'm sure it does. So that's why in the next episode, we're going to have Lisa come back again and share with us all about how to start building a personal brand. So make sure to tune in for the second in our series on personal branding with Lisa Harrison from Social Media Mastery. And don't forget to use the hashtag DM Toolkit on all your social channels with any questions or comments about this series. And you can find out more information and resources over at vlogpod.com.au slash DMT. And I'm Ben Amos from Engage Video Marketing and we'll see you next time. This is your Digital Marketing Toolkit.